Hello everyone, it is Outwarsal, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. In the last episode, we actually completely explored Pewter City, and we did a little bit of gym battling, and overall there wasn't a whole lot of progression, but then, at the ending of episode number 3, we saw a mysterious duo, pretty much up to no good, and they went further into this tunnel, Mount Moon. So we're actually gonna chase them down, see what these guys are up to, but we got a bunch of new Pokemon that we need to capture and encounter. We actually see a Paris down there. I figure we will start... He just despawned. We'll start to start. We're gonna start with the Paris. And as always, I wanna remind you guys, we are doing a giveaway for a Nintendo Switch and a copy of this Pokemon. And uh, make sure you check the link in the description down below if you want to have a chance of winning it. And of course, make sure you leave a like on this video if you are enjoying the series to support it and help me as a content creator. Get your Pokeball through the moving ring and you can see a bonus for great technique. As the ring gets smaller, that's your chance to snag in a great bonus. Okay. But I knew that already. Starting off the episode with a accident throw. It kind of seems like an ongoing trend at this point. That's kind of a weird cry, not gonna lie. We got a Paris! Brand new Pokemon into the Pokedex. Bellsprout leveled up and Pikachu leveled up here as well. So very soon, hopefully this episode, we get to see our first evolution in Pokemon Let's Go. That's gonna be really cool. So Paris! Uh, burrows under the ground, try to gnaw on tree roots. The mushrooms on its back absorb most of its nutrition. Okay. We also saw... Where you at? Where you at? Zub Ooh, Zubat. Oh, I, I, I got this first. We got a potion. Very helpful as always. Where are you at? Oh, Geodude! That's my jam. Geodude. I mean, my name is Geo. I think... I might replace the Pokemon and put Geodude on the team. I think that might be a really good idea. So that being said... Back to back excellent. If I get another excellent here... You guys are gonna have to like the video, okay? I was so overconfident there for a second that I thought I was gonna get it, but nope! I just completely, this circle went like, oh, let's go a little bit to the left, or the Pokeball had like a mile of its own. It's like, now nah, reverse, you're not gonna get that excellent. Here, I'll teach you this. Sheesh, there goes my experience bonus too. Well, we got you in the Pokedex. That kind of makes up for it, I guess. Let's see what he has to say. Commonly found near mountain trails and the like. And the like, more like, like the video. <laughs> kidding. If you snap on one by accident, it gets angry. Well, of course, I mean, if you step on anything... Whoa, that Geodude. It's gotta be a huge one. It's huge! It's a huge Geodude. Okay. Wait! Okay, so I actually put the, the ring on the ring finger. So let's remove it, see if our throat gets any better as a result. No, it gets worse! It just got worse! Okay, come on. Come on. I got this. I got this. Yes! Let's go! That's the third excellent. Okay. Maybe not throw the ring. Maybe it kind of... Like, the motion of throwing straight at the Nintendo Switch console. Maybe it moves a little bit more sideways as a result of me. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna keep the wrist strap on, but then instead not put this ring on, because maybe that's just bad luck or something like that. In any rate, 58 experience almost levels up the Eevee and the Pidgey, which is pretty cool. But I'm still looking for that Zubit, but we currently got the catch combo. So if we do see another Geodude, I do kind of want to go for it, because it gives us more experience. We'll have to see. Wow, okay, he saw us. Okay, we're gonna have to do a battle. That's completely fine. Well, we're not suspicious in any way, Mr. Kant. Butterfree? Okay, we're about to get serious up in this. So, Butterfree. Level 7, we do have the advantage. Hold up. Eevee wants something. Eevee support? Whoa, what's that? 
Bellsport attack defense? What? Yo! Okay, it uses up a turn, but that's incredibly... That's overpowered. That is so overpowered. Whoa, okay, hold up. Um, Acid? I don't know what Acid does in this game. Let's find out. Ooh, that looks that looks really cool. Confusion, don't don't confuse me. Super effective. Okay, we're not confused. Confusion is one of the worst uh, status uh, effects on a Pokemon. It basically makes it that you have a chance of hitting yourself, which is really not what we want, ever. However, though, if you wrap up the battle, you know it will go away. But it's especially in, in certain battles, it's like the worst thing you can have. And Pidgey is going to learn Wing Attack here. So we are actually going to see how, how good is Wing Attack here. Wing Attack has 60 accuracy. That's fantastic. So Immature will get rid of Gust. Get a little bit less moves on Wing Attack. But Wing Attack much better than the Gust. There we go. And Eevee Groot's level 15 as well. And there you go. Can't. I've got you, but man, you're pretty strong for a bug trainer, the, the, the best one we've gotten so far here. Got me a little bit worried and concerned there, but we're good. Whoa. That's a lot of great balls. That's more, that's about the amount that Blue gave us, right? So he saw, he's wanting us for Team Rocket. Okay, there's nothing down here. Oh, yeah, that's the Geodude. That's the Geodude that we want. We're gonna get that capture bonus here. Whoa! For real, it's level nine. Okay, I'm gonna use a. Um, I'm gonna use a. Uh, I'm gonna use a great ball. Why not? I'm gonna use a great ball here. Um, I will also. Um, I will also use a Nanap. I feel it's not really meant for Judo. More probably for like a more jumpy Pokemon like the Bellsprout, uh, the Beedrill. But we'll see. That circle, that circle was really going slow. That circle was really going slow. So this is the best dude we've gotten so far. Here, look at this, 108 experience for this particular battle. Moving up, we're to level 12 here. And Spiro's gonna level up soon as well. Now, what I wanna do is actually, I was kinda hoping for a, no, no, no. Fight's a really good move. Okay. I'm going to swap one of my Pokemon with this particular Geodude, because this Geodude... High level, man. Not gonna lie. So, let's see. Oh, we got so many Pokemon in the Pokemon box. Level 5, level 5, level 9. Add to the party. And a Pokemon I don't really see myself using. Spiro, we do have the Pidgey, so we don't need another flying type, per se. There we go. Geodude added to the party, becoming one of the main members. Let's press on. Another Geodude here, we gotta go for it. We obviously gotta go for it. It's huge, it's gonna give us a lot of experience. It's only level five though. Oh, it's starting with great balls, you know what? I'll just go for it. Et voila, another excellent. How much experience? Last time we got 108, this time it will give me the huge bonus here. Curious. 86. I think the multiplier is higher. Not sure. Pikachu leveled up. Bellsprout will be level 50 very soon. Catch combo 4. Nice. Okay. Gonna press on here. Oh, there's another you dude. Gotta go for it. Level 8. Boom! Let's go! That that accident was kind of like a little bit more to the side here. I'm a little bit surprised that that was a part of it. But we're on a roll right now, guys. We're on a roll right now. 94 experience. And it gives me some Nana Berry. Geodude and Bellsprout leveled up. Nice. And Geodude. Okay. Catch combo 5. Going pretty well. Doing pretty well here. Battle, 
probably. So these trainers are, I feel kind of unpredictable in a way as well, because they're having different Pokemon that I would expect. Like that Butterfree in the beginning of this episode was kind of a, a little surprise here. This time a Bellsprout is going to be a Bellsprout Ditto duo. So level 8, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to go with Acid. One hit! That's not bad. Yeah, you lost! Thank you for the Pokeballs. I came here because there are some rare fossils here. Is that the reason why we come out? Oh! That long haired woman! What is she doing on that Atkins on her hat? <laughs> oh, you're pretty fast, kid. Mm hmm. I kind of want to go down there, but um, there's usually an item down here somewhere. Was it this one? Awakening. Very nice. That's whenever you fall asleep. Let's go ahead and fight against this dude. He <laughs> had to sneak up on me. Alright. Super Nerd Joven. Oh, he has a Grimer. Okay, this might be trouble. This might be trouble. It's level 10, yeah, you definitely see the Pokemon getting stronger uh, at this point. Uh, we're just gonna use Fine Whip here. Yeah, it's not very effective. It also has a lot of defense here. Gotta be careful with that, but we're gonna be doing more damage for sure. Let's go ahead and continue using Fine Whips here. We gotta do four hits in total in order to take it down. But we're definitely gonna be taking it down before it takes us down here, so we should be good to go. Yeah. Even if it does a critical and it gets to go first and we miss, we'll still be good. There we go, Grom goes down. And at this point, we're probably gonna be using a potion here because otherwise, you know, it's gonna be tough. Only 53 experience, that's not a lot. 400 experience, 3 Pokeballs. Sorry, Jovan. Sad to make you cry, my dude. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me go back. Uh, Madison Pocket. No! Madison Pocket? Yes. That's good enough. I'd say, I'm gonna go down here. Go ahead and face off against this trainer. You need to go through this cave to get to Cerulean City. Bunch of trainer battles here. Robbie. Robbie sends out a Mankey. We got this. Go Bell Sprout. Okay. Uh, let's use Acid. Ooh, there's quite a bit of damage here. Focus energy. Hopefully we get to do first. So if he uses focus energy, his chance of doing a critical hit is gonna increase. Critical hit most usually does twice the amount of damage or 1.5 times the normal amount of damage. I think it's twice. So gotta be very careful for that. We also have focus energy on Bellsprout. But right now it's not really worth using it right now, so yeah. Zubat are pretty tough. If you catch one, you won't. You'll be able to count it. Ooh, is this the item? Ether. Okay, so that restores your um, power points. So the moves that you can do. Ah, there we go, Geodude. Nice. I believe this is the fifth or the sixth one. That was not an accident, unfortunately. Nice. That's what we got those great balls for, man. To not break the streak. It's a lot of experiences. More than trainer battles. There we go. Pidgey leveled up to level 16. And Eevee leveled up to level 16 as well. Very nice. I like it. And the catch combo of 6, of course. Alright. 
A Rappel. Rappel's pretty alright. Um, in this game, I would say you don't really need Rappels as much. Unless, of course, you're moving uh, a lot, in which you don't want to uh, find a lot of Pokemon. This Zubat will catch it later. We've got a very nice streak ongoing. But basically, it repels Pokemon from uh, coming close and near you. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Okay. Wow, it's way bigger in here than I thought. It actually is. Much bigger than I remember this place to be. Miriam! Ooh, Clefairy. So Clefairy is a fairy type. We should be good to go here. Even if we use a grass type move or uh, if we use a poison type move. I honestly haven't checked how much damage acid does. But I'm starting to think that we might end up doing more damage. Oh, wait! I forgot poison actually super effective. I picked the right one there unintentionally. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, you lost. Great. Uh, I would give you our escape rope if you're that lost, though. See, plenty of Zubat. Ooh. What are you doing there? Yikes. Quit following us. You just passed by that trainer. Okay. Let's see what we got down here. Oh, Geodude. Nice. And there's a crack down there as well. Okay. Okay, that was not the greatest throw. At all. Do we still got it though? Come on. Yes. Okay, we have a very nice streak on going. 62 experience here. Nice. Catch combo 7. Cannot complain with that. I've really reached a point, there's nothing there. I've really reached a point where I don't want to break that catch combo. <gasps> Chansey! Hold up! Chansey? Is it Chansey supposed to be in Safari Zone or anything like that? I'm, sh I'm in shock, honestly. I'm really in shock. I cannot even throw straight. There we go. We got the axe. Okay, we redeemed ourselves. Chansey? Oh, man. I have a feeling. I really have... I genuinely feel Chansey is incredibly rare. Oh, my days. I think I'm gonna have to give up that streak for Chansey, guys. No, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna give up the streak for Chansey. There we go. Chansey. I don't know how rare this is. Oh, the circle's orange. That definitely... It's a raspberry. I want to try something. Uh, use it. The circle's bright red. Okay. It went yellowish now. How awesome would it be? If I use my one Premier Ball and capture it that way. The circle went orange. It's the same catch rate as a Pokeball. If we catch this, it's gonna be epic. Oh, I didn't get the accident. Come on. Come on. No! Don't run. Don't run. Don't. Oh. We're still, we're still here. We're still here. Okay, we don't got the Grey Ball anymore. We do got the Raspberry, though. Oh, we got a Chansey here. What are the odds of that? I really feel it's so rare. Okay. Oh, it moves to the side? Okay. Okay. Uh. No. We got a lot of... Okay, focus. Now. Don't come on, that was an accident. Please. Two. Three. Oh, no, don't run. Don't run. Oh, we're still here. We're still here. We're still here. Come on. I need this, man. Oh, how do I throw this? Great. No. Come on, man. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we're still here. We're still here. My heart is pounding out of my chest right now. I'm way too excited for this one. Okay. No, that was bad. Why did I do that? I'm too nervous for this, man. I'm gonna lose my final great ball if I... Now. Oh. The circle reset. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Yes! Let's go! Oh, yes, I got the chancy! Yes! Oh, look at that experience, dude! What? <laughs> yes! Oh. <laughs> Yo! Oh, Bellsprout wants to need... Oh, sleep power. Let's get it. I don't think I'll ever use rap. Oh, we got Chansey! Yes! Oh, I cannot believe that. Stealth Rock? What does Stealth Rock do? Is that better than Rock Throw or what is it? Laser Trap on levitating stones around the opposing team. Oh! So, we'll just get rid of Bide. Wow. Okay. I know the Pokemon that we're gonna swap out. It's actually a Pokemon that I accidentally... Oh, Pikachu with the double team. That's pretty nice. Uh, it's actually a Pokemon... I'm gonna get rid of Growl. It's actually a Pokemon I accidentally, you know, removed Bide off. And that's gonna be the Rattata. Oh, man. Chansey, that is nuts. Chansey's Pokedex entry. A gentle, kind-hearted Pokemon that shares nutritious eggs if it sees an injured Pokemon. I wonder what moves it has. This playthrough's gotten a lot more interesting right now. Um. Okay. Uh, do do Uh, add to party. Here we go. Uh, check summary. Pound. Okay, so the, the moves aren't interesting right now. But this Pokemon, look at the HP. 58, that's a ton. It's, it's different than Pokemon Go. It does have 300 HP base. Or anything like that. But just in case, I'm just gonna save because I don't want to lose this chassis now, man. Whoo! I cannot believe we just... Oh, what the... What the... Uh, uh, I suppose we still need to get ourselves a... Ooh, Nugget. We can sell that. We still need to get a Zubat. We might as well get a tiny... A little tiny one here. There we go. Yeah, it's tiny! You know what? The great will suffice here. Yes! We got it! That is the Zubat, so I think that's pretty much... Well, we probably... Judging by the fact that we can get a Chansey here... I say we can potentially also get... A Clefairy here. And maybe some other Pokémon as well. Bite! For... What does it do? Bite. Yeah, it can help the target flinch. It has 60 power. Um, I think Eevee has quite a bit of speed here. I think Payday is the one we're gonna get rid of here. I mean, as cool as Payday is, I don't feel we're gonna be short on any sort of items later down the road. And if anything, we can just learn it otherwise. So I think Bite is pretty cool. I didn't know Eevee could learn Bite, by the way. Zubat's data. Emits ultrasonic cries while it flies. They act as a sonar used to check updates, objects in the way. Not bad. Okay, we shall press on. Chansey. You guys tell me how rare is that? A lot of Geodudes here now. A lot of Geodude here now. 
Yes! I did. Came to explore the cave. Alright, Josh, show me what you got. Sand Truth! Finally! An encounter in which the Bellsprout has the advantage as the grass type where it comes to good use here. So that means that Fine Whip! Smash! Boosh! Taken out. Wow, that health bar went down the quickest I've seen so far. Pidgey level 17. Roost! What does Roost do? I have no idea. Does it like buff itself up? Restores huge HP. Oh, helpful. Um, let's just get rid of Sand Attack. These moves that we're getting, they're very useful. Roost. It's kind of like mirror move in a sense. But then it also restores health, which is nice. We got a bad hiker here. He probably is using Geodude, so... Probably one, two, or three Geodude. Marcos! Yes. So usually in the Pokemon series, you can determine the trainer, what kind of Pokemon they have, based on the way they look, the way their sprite looks. In this particular case, this hiker usually carries like rock and ground type Pokemon with them. So that's how you can determine like, hey, uh, for this Pokemon, the way it looks, you gotta be using this specific type of Pokemon. Some Pokemon trainers are different in that sense, but uh, usually hikers always use ground type Pokemon, you know, you'd be good to go. Let's keep on battling. Easy. I have to say though, I can definitely tell the difficulty went up a little bit uh, as we enter Mount Moon in comparison to the road from Tudor City to Mount Moon. The trainers were relatively easy besides of course the two uh, special trainers that we have, but still. That's not that dark. Let's see what this is. He found a pearl. Not bad. What do you have to say? Ah, you see, you have plenty of Pokeballs. Do you ever want to talk to me? Oh, he sells them? Not bad. That's something definitely new. Just selling them left, right, and center. I'm just gonna ignore the Geodude for now. Ooh, Meowth. Can we capture it? Meow. Seems like we can't. Pretty sad. This crack, we cannot do anything with it. Okay. Oh, Wild Clefairy, there we go. Clefairy is a very interesting Pokemon for sure. Oh, it's gonna be jumping. Can we... Oh, we got a side, a side excellent. A side throw excellent. The very first one I've done. And it broke free. Can we do it again? Almost. Almost. Not quite there yet. Oh, you're toughy. Alright, you know what? I'll try one more. Got the accident again. If you break free this time, I'm gonna be using a raspberry. We should have it though. No, we don't. Wow. Don't run on me. Okay. Raspberry it is. I got 65 Pokeball. Whoa! I didn't throw that hard. What? Wait! Okay. That's the thing, apparently. You ready your Pokeball, and he just runs away. Okay. Fine. Goodbye me. I didn't want you anyway. I'll just take this one. Oh, that's of course is the very same one. <laughs> you know what? Raspberry it is. Not even gonna play around. Just gonna chuck in the raspberry here. Throwing at the side. Boom. Oh, that was a terrible throw, by the way. Come on, can we get it? I know I don't deserve it. Thank you. 
At least we got it here. Jeez. You're giving me a hard time here, Clefairy. Shield at level 13. Nice. I like it. Honestly, wish I would see the stats of the Pokemon as they level up, but then again, it could take a long time. Adore for the cute looks and playfulness. They are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. Well, you just had twice one in a row. Maybe not that rare after all. Oh. Oh, this guy looks suspicious. We're pulling a big job here. Get lost, kid. Oh. Look who it is. It's Team Rocket. It's a Team Rocket grunt. Drowsy. Okay. So poison attack's not gonna be super effective at all. As poison is weak to psychic. So we shall proceed on using. Fine with. Ooh. Oh, Bellsprout avoided the attack. Very nice. Should be able to take it out with the Swan Smash. Boosh! There we go. Very nice. Oh, that was it. So, you are good. <laughs> that face. If you find a fossil, give it to me as well. Oh. That scared me, not gonna lie. That scared me, man. Okay. That scared me. Onyx. That was quite... I don't even say it. That's quite unexpected! I can throw over Onyx. I, I found that very impressive, to be honest. Yeah, um... Come on, man! Okay. Did I get it? No, of course not. I did not deserve that one. Don't run, though. Come on. Come on, man. Wow. That's going to be a task to... Be able to consistently throw excellent on this particular onyx we might not even capture this one i don't know we might have to come back to it and catch it another time For... okay come on man i just need to get the grade and i'm sure i'll have it that way or even better Got an excellent. What is that? Wow, this is a tough one. Come on. Yes. Oh. Come on, Onyx. I don't really like this get ready function per se, but okay. Now. Wait, I threw over it again? Come on! Okay. I just gotta throw normally. This time. This time. I'm gonna throw normally. How I normally do. <laughs> You've gotta be joking me. You've gotta be joking me! No! Okay, there they are. Are those dark color thing fossils? All right, meow. Go get those fossils. Meow. Okay. We were supposed to talk to them or just go. 
I figure I just go, right? Are we gonna get stopped by- That's a Clefairy. Oh! There's another Team Rocket member there. Okay, we got a revive. Nice. Neat. Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. Okay, fine. Okay, Team Rocket grunt. She doesn't look amused. We aren't either. Bellsprout versus Zubat. What up are you, level 9? Should be a problem. Oh, of course, not very effective. <laughs> That's super effective, of course. Acid. Yeah, still not very effective, but it does a little bit more, I'd say. Yeah, Absorb is not gonna do much for you, buddy. Okay. I think Acid does a little bit more damage than Vine Whip does. Yeah, there we go. Definitely does more damage than Vine Whip does. That mainly makes me steam. She's so upset. Sees a Pokemon lift here long before people ever came. Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, there we go. Hey, stop! I found these fossils. They're both mine. So if we battle him, I think we'll get one of those fossils. Miguel! Show us what you got. Voltorb. Electric type. We should be good here. Uh, as it thunder shot. Yeah, twenty. That's nice. Ooh, as if it has Sonic Boom, we might be in trouble. But I don't think he has. All right, thunder shot. Yeah, that's not gonna do much damage to us at all. Yes, nice. But he has another Pokemon. Okay, Bellsprout leveled up, very nice. Ooh, access for special defense, I like that. Poison Powder. Um, yeah, let's forget an old move. I'm not gonna do much with, gro uh, with growth anyway, so we're good to, uh, to get ourselves Poison Powder. Pikachu level 13. Pikachu's not really leveling up that fast. Okay, Magnemite. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep battling here. Oh, Magnemite looks really cool in Pokemon. Let's go. Uh, that's it. Am I missing something? Why is it not affecting? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments why it's not affecting. I'm just gonna use Fine Whip instead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Don't hit yourself, is all I'm saying. Come on. No! Oh, what? Rip. <sighs> okay, then. Geodude it is! Show yourself, Geodude. Okay. Here we go, Rock Throw. Boosh. Up. Uh. It's it's Steel type. Oh, don't 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 hit yourself. Yes! No! Hey, what? Yeah, tackle's not gonna do much. Come on! Yes! Take it out, take it out, take it out! Oh, it's just to take it out. Come on, man! Oh, yes! Snapped out of confusion. Boosh! There we go. Not very effective. Still, though, took it out. I'm happy. 
Oh, he's gonna share with us, thankfully. Okay. Well, we take the Helix fossil. Praise Lord Helix. Alright. Uh oh. Stop right there. Hands off, that fossil belongs to us. <sighs> How did you even get there ahead of us? Here. We're Team Rocket, I'm Jesse. And I'm James. And the two of us are going to take that fossil back. Wait, how you can take it back if it wasn't yours in the first place? You're challenged by Team Rocket, Jesse and James. Atkins and coughing. Oh, Pidgey and Eevee. Oh, they battle together at the same time. That's neat. I like that. A lot. Okay, so, um... I'm gonna use Wing Attack on Atkins. And Eevee, he's gonna use Bite on Coughing. Both level 12. Bush. I should probably take down one Pokemon. But uh, look, look at Pidgey. Doing just fine. Doesn't even need to do... Acid hits them both? Okay. Okay. We got this, though. We got this. I'm just gonna do the same thing. And Eevee... Eevee can just do a double kick. I'm coughing. It's not gonna do much. Because it's fighting, of course. Fighting doesn't do much against poison. Atkins goes down. Very nice. Also, Coughing does have a lot of defense, so... Ooh, Chansey goes to level 10, that's pretty good. I love these double battles, they're fun. Here we go. Use Bite. And Wing Attack. And there we go, Coughing goes down. Awesome. 80 experience here. And we defeated them. I can't believe it. The twerp beat us. Wow. That expression of James is amazing. I like the song. Team Rock is blasting off again. Expa separate. What does that mean? Uh, hello? Was it unhappy? Maybe he didn't enjoy that battle, I don't know. Boy, I wonder what the other berries are. Oh. Oh, you don't... What? I wonder if Eevee's okay. Is Eevee better now? If I check... Okay. It's fidgeting around. Okay, it seems better. I don't know. Hey, you gotta... Give some care to your Pokemon. Next time, I'll just make sure that I do that off screen. Okay! Route number four! Let's see what the sign says. To Cerulean City. Pretty nice stuff. There's a latch here. I don't want to check that out yet. So, we're gonna wrap things off here. Next time on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Edition. We're gonna explore a little bit more, we're gonna see what this route is all about, the route to Cerulean City, who knows, we might get to Cerulean City, see what is happening down there, and in the meantime, 
I might go back a little bit and try to hunt for a Bulbasaur, but I haven't really decided on that right now, so I'll make sure I update you guys on that. But in the meantime, though, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys are supporting the series, I would really appreciate a like on this episode to show your support. And that being said, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are new here and you want to see more of this amazing game. It has so much in store. We have only scratched the surface of what is going to be going down with Team Rocket and just this playthrough in Pokemon Let's Go. That being said though, this has been Reverse for Pokemon Let's Go. I'm going to be signing off and I'll see you guys back again soon with more Pokemon Let's Go.